Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another Ben 10 Ultimate Alien reaction for you guys. This is Season 2 or Season 3, Episode 1, wherever. I'm calling it Season 2 because I put the first 20 episodes together in one season. Regardless of, you know, how I'm ordering it or whatever, or the seasons, all that. You're still getting the reactions, you're still getting the episodes, so that's really what matters at the end of the day. Now, we ended the major arc of Kevin. Now, of course, before that was Agor and everything, but the Ultimate Kevin arc... It felt really rushed at the very end of episode 20 uh, last week. It felt really rushed. Like, I was like, oh, this, 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 this. Okay, credits. It's like, hmm. And I get it because they had a lot of build up in terms of building up the arc and everything. And Kevin getting more and more aggressive in terms of stealing power. Of course, going after Gwen at the end there. Wanting to take her mana and all that kind of stuff. And then, of course, Dark Star and all that nonsense. Or, yeah, is that his name right? Dark Star by Michael. But all that changes. And Chris Pratt is Cooper. Like, what? <laughs> That's still baffling, but a lot of things happened at the end, and they wrapped it up pretty quick. I don't know if they're going to address it moving forward in terms of how the fact that they moved on so fast, or if there's any still doubt about, you know, Ben, like, you know, the whole thing, because Ben was going to kill Kevin, so I don't know. But overall, I enjoyed the arc, and I had a good time with it. I just wish that there was more time spent at the ending to kind of give it a proper, like, clean ending versus rush, 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 but that's just me. I still love the show, still love the franchise. Obviously, that's not going to change. Um, but we'll see what happens here. Let's jump into the new season of premiere here. I'm excited to jump to it, guys. Let's go. I'm still in second gear. Oh, they're racing, really? Want to make this interesting? Last one to the campsite mm. has to do the cooking. Oh, camp. You're on. If we're going to have a vacation, this is it. Not going to happen, Tennyson. What the hell? Of course, a random ship just happens to land where they are. I think something's in there. Well, I mean, maybe. Oh. Ow. Oh. Okay. You are beautiful. You don't remember anything? Not before I woke up and met the three of you. Unit. Eunice? Eunice. Oh, that's. Okay. Maybe we should call her the Vermin Whisperer. She's an alien. We should yeah. get her someone who can help her. Well, that's okay fair if point. I stay with you for a while? Maybe we can help you get your memory back. Maybe. I've got some extra clothes you can borrow. I know it's important to you that we all spend some quality time together. Okay. You want. This must all seem so strange to you. I mean, there's a lot of things they Sorry see. Yeah. yeah. I'm fun even though I don't have a memory. He has a girlfriend. Ben, calm down. Don't force it. We're going to capture fish and eat them? Um. I can't do that. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's an idiot trying to show off. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to take Eunice to see the view of the ravine. Don't Swirls. understand. Nothing yeah. but tree rats. But. <laughs> She's way too good looking for you. Plus, you have girlfriend. Yeah. What about Julie? Exactly. She's only a little too good looking for me. Julie broke up with me. No. She what? Said what? Might as well be broken up. Oh. Same oh. Yeah. She's like, hmm. Interesting. I didn't know that about him and Julie. What the? F Is that a bear? Yeah, it's a bear. Holy crap! Eunice. Save him from the bear. Come on. Oh. Oh. How did you do that? Wait. Wait, what just happened there? Oh, this dude. Okay. What's he doing? And what was that whole rock movement? Like, okay. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? There's a bunny right away. How do you do that? If you want to be scared of the bunny, I won't judge. I mean, <laughs> Oh, that was intentional, I think. You tried that move the last time. He did, yeah. Or have you forgotten? That was quick, yeah. Never did get even with you for sending me to the null void. How did he get out? Get even. The I forgot that he cut his hand off. That was a whole thing. What about her does he want? Ooh. She can take their ability or something because she just took that, that bunny and started hopping. That's inconvenient. That sucks. Oh. Stay out of this, Tennyson. Where are Ben and Eunice? Fighting. Oh, uh, that stars. one guy. Girls like that, right? You're treating her like a fifth wheel. Wasn't Ooh. that long ago I was the one trying to fit in with you and your cousin? Where's Eunice? Not Man, here. You cannot keep a girlfriend. I like how he said Sunders after her and they didn't question. 
Who or wait, he's out of the null void? Like none of that. Just okay, let's go. This way. <laughs> now I've brought you into this. What is this? I'm pretty sure you weren't carrying anything. Kevin. Mm. I want to know who I am. How about you tell us what exactly you're doing here? Like why? Ben, aim better. Ooh, like that. Oh. Jesus Christ. You want to know who you are? Yeah, I come on. You, or rather, what? What? Well, if you'll excuse me, I have a delivery to make. What the fuck, dude? He went ultimate. He's lucky he found a ramp. Ooh. Come on, Ben. Come on. There you go. Damn. What did you do? I... I don't know. That was close. Really thought you could beat me? I mean, he did it before, yes. technically. Last mistake you'll ever make. Kick ass, take names, Kevin. Go doing? Gwen. Looking for a switch on this thing. What? I'm so confused. You're a thing. Mm. A a what? Liar. Asmith? Okay, come on, give us some answers. I'm sorry, sir. I, I just needed more time. As if you were a match for Tennyson. Eunice is my concern. Mm. Eunice? Is that what you've been calling the Unitrix? Unitrix? Uni as in one, instead of omni meaning all. Indeed. When I cut my mm. hand opening the space pod... It sampled your DNA? You can't just store a human being. Mm. She's not human. She's a construct. My transformations are real and she's way more human than you are. The Unitrix is dangerous. I'll fight you, Asmuth. Oh. No, you won't. I believe you would. Hmm. Big. That's a crazy reveal, by the Thank way. Thank you for letting me go camping with you. Do I still get paid? No. What did she give you? Something beautiful. Wow. Okay. I was not sure where this episode was going, but this was actually pretty interesting, and we got more lore, essentially, if you want to use that word, lore, um, for Azmuth and the whole idea of the Omnitrix and everything. So this was a Unitrix. And literally, it was a device built before the Omnitrix where it was planned to be, I think it was before the Omnitrix, but planned to be storing each individual alien species into a device. And apparently, Eunice, the Unitrix, the DNA, like why she was a girl versus like the actual device when he detransformed her in Sunder, which by the way, that reveal about how he got out of the Null Void because it was Asthma that uh, got him out to then go find the Unitrix. Um... The DNA of Eunice was based off Gwen. So it just, it got that DNA because she cut her hand or that electricity or whatever. So that bet created the Unitrix to turn into Eunice. And it's weird because it's not Gwen. I mean, it's Gwen's DNA, but it's like not Gwen, but also Ben was smitten by Eunice. So it's kind of weird. Anyways, interesting. And, I, and also, I think probably the most interesting part of the episode um, is the fact that they're having a small debate about if Eunice, the Unitrix, is alive now because now it has not taken form as Eunice. It has not taken form as a human, essentially. Asthma saying she's no more human than your transformation. Like she's not, she's no more alive than your transformations are when you transform with the with the Omnitrix or the Ultimatrix. Ben said, "I'll fight you," and Asthma smirks. He smiles. I bet you would. Which would be very interesting because we did see at one point azimuth using i think it was an omnitrix against vilgax we've seen we've seen that so the idea of azimuth doing it like versus ben would be very interesting too but okay so wasn't sure where this episode uh, episode was going like i said because we're opening up with them racing and they're heading towards camp and i'm like it's gonna be a filler really in the season premiere really it's not, though. I mean, 
I guess, but not really, because it's really just showcasing more of the fact that there's more stuff that Azmuth was working on than we realized. And I think there's a lot of information we don't know. Because Azmuth, as we know in the past, because Azmuth and Ben have had this weird dynamic. At times they align, and other times they are opposites, and, and they're having tension and issues, and Azmuth is constantly questioning should you have been the right person? I know you weren't supposed to get the Omnitrix initially. It's supposed to be Max. But he's constantly debating, is Ben the right choice for this? Like, I, you know, do, should I keep giving him chances? And he has the Ultimatrix now? All this stuff, right? So I get all this discussion and debate and everything. But the idea of, like, man, if they fought. Hmm. But we get to see more of what Asmund's, like, plans were. Like, he gives a little bit of information. I feel like he's just like, I'm not going to reveal too much. But... I was working on a singular device that, like, for each you know, individual alien species, so I made the Omnitrix. So, because Unitrix, Una is one, Omni all. And that was, the, that was the thing. And then, of course, you have the Ultimatrix as well. So, it's interesting we have to see more of that. I think, also, too, the reveal of Ben and Julie not being together anymore? Like, really? Like, I don't remember that being said, so I'm guessing this was the reveal in this episode, was that, oh, by the way, they're not together anymore. Which is uh, kind of surprising. But... I mean, you know, Julie wasn't really in the show too much. Like, it was more so Alien Force she was involved in. And then here, Ultimate Alien, she's in it a little bit, not really that much. Um, but when she is in the episodes, it is impactful for the most part. The finale, she was just kind of like there. But you get what I'm saying. So maybe this is a way to kind of take a step back from the character moving forward, and then maybe we'll see her later on down the road. I don't know, but it's unfortunate that they... Um, that they parted ways but then there was like a whole semantic things about what she like well maybe we should be broken up and there was like a whole thing there but i think before the reveal of eunice being the unimatrix or whatever i think the, the the concept of there's constant animals and stuff in the forest like even that giant bear that was got, we thought was an attacker is fine and she can absorb their abilities which now makes sense because essentially the device is taking you know dna and then able to use it. like she took the bear and was able to move the rock and then took bunny dna to hop around and then took snake dna to fight sunder and all that um of course sunder was being you know non-specific and stuff with yelling at ben like you you're you're messing with like you're messing in things over your head or whatever like you, you don't know what you're messing with it's like how about you say it obviously they're waiting for asthma to say it because that's the more of an impact for asthma to show because like the idea of asthma hiring sunder like it's a weird <laughs> connection there um but it is what it is. Now, I'm curious. Because, see, I honestly thought, based on how they opened the season one premiere with the whole Aggregor and setting it all up, I thought we were going to get some setup for what this season is going to be about, and we did not. Now, that doesn't mean to say that we are not going to get that at some point. I'm just, I was just assuming that maybe we're going to do some setup for what we're going to be seeing in the season, and not so much. I think, so this was just like establishing that there is more that we don't know about Asmuth, which I think is still very interesting because. He's a very interesting character, you know, he had a lot of ideas, and he's really, really smart, like, obviously really, really smart, and he had this idea of a, of these different devices before the Omnitrix and everything, so it kind of shows the kind of expansion of what we know about Asmuth as a character and the devices he's been working on, because we didn't know there was an Ultimatrix involved until it was introduced, so we had no idea that there was even more stuff he was developing, but then again, it's like the Omnitrix is not the end-all be-all in my opinion like i mean i understand it's a very powerful device everyone knows about it but there is more that can be done to be enhanced and everything i also liked the fact that ben turned into a variety of ultimate alien aliens in this because what i've noticed in ultimate alien is he doesn't turn into ultimate aliens that much within season one um the first 20 episodes here we got ultimate spider monkey we got ultimate uh cannon bolt and was there wasn't there another no but he turned into energy he turned into armadillo so there was a good variety of aliens used in this episode so that was cool to see that and um and it was cool to kind of see because i forgot a little bit until sunder started using his glider that sunder essentially is even though it's not a version of Green Goblin, but kind of, and of course we had Spider Monkey was when Sunder was first introduced. So having Sunder fighting Spider Monkey, so Green Goblin in a sense and Spider Man, but then Ultimate Spider Monkey, it was cool to see that, um, and to see you know Kevin back to being Kevin again, using his abilities again and all that. There was one shot though that I, I had a question about because earlier when they're on top of the like m like 
top of like that mountain or something or whatever and all that rock and he transforms that's fine but then there's a there's shot when ultimate cannonbolt um and sunder are fighting and all of a sudden there's kevin and gwen sitting there and the next time you see kevin like a few seconds later he's turned back into rock form or whatever so i'm guessing off screen he transformed but like they don't show usually they show when he transforms and uses his abilities so they didn't show it there that was kind of a weird like okay that's fine um yeah so interesting episode overall i had a good time with it i did so i'm curious where we go from here because we're starting a new season um like i said i was expecting more of a setup for what we're going to happen in season two in terms of maybe arcs or the villain or something but maybe we're, we're saving that maybe for next episode i don't know no idea hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll talk to you guys soon peace out